sounding firefighter will follow the roof construction towards the peak of the roof or the location of where the heat hole will be placed. The sawyer will follow in his footsteps for safety. Once in a position where the heat hole will be placed, the sounding firefighter will notify the sawyer of the location of the rafters. The sawyer will then move into place and begin the first cut, which is a back cut, to the adjacent rafter. The second cut will be a continuation of the head cut, making sure to roll the middle rafter and finish the head cut butting up into the far rafter. The third cut will be a downward cut just to the inside of that far rafter. A fourth cut will be the bottom cut, making sure to roll the middle rafter. During this operation, take note at how the sounding firefighter is backing up the sawyer. He is holding the rubbish hook with the hooks down and back so that he has an indication through the rubbish hook if he gets close to the edge of the roof. The fifth and final cut will be the final downward cut. This cut, as you can see, is closest to the point of egress and completes the hole. Once the final cut is complete, the sounding firefighter will move up the roof line and use this tool to make a louver. The tool will then be turned around and used to punch through any attic space or hanging or false ceiling. Once the operation is complete, the firefighters will exit the roof in the same manner that they came.